Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to uh, review this Klein MM400 multimeter. I uh, got this from Amazon for um, $48. It is about 40% off right now on Amazon. And um, I have a, a higher end Klein tools, but I wanted to put one in my tool bag um, that I can carry in my truck all the time. So I bought this one um, a little bit cheaper than my $200 Klein multimeter that is uh, totally automated, um, digital and etc. that is much more expensive. But this will do on my toolbox and uh, I think it's a great price for 50 bucks basically. Um, so I just want to go through the features. Uh, Klein usually uh, makes good products that is of good quality. So I'm hoping that uh, this is the same. Um, yeah, so let me see here. First, I wanna say that the the, the grip is very uh, good. Um, this material right here is kind of like a rubbery material. It's not hard plastic. It's kind of squishy. So it's not hard. It has uh, some rubbery texture to it instead of just hard plastic let's uh, see what the selector is like yeah the selector feels really good it's uh, really solid um let's see where the battery is so this is a stand nice the battery is in here unfortunately i have to use a screwdriver to open up the battery I don't know why this part right here is kind of indented. That's interesting. All right, it is battery included. So when I say that this uh, multimeter is not auto, it's actually not true. Um, it's just the uh, probably the range is not as high and as sensitive as my other um, true RMS fully capable multimeter. That is two hundred dollars, four times as much. But um, just want to show you all the things that it comes with here. So it's actually, I think it's pretty good value. Um, I don't know what this is. I think this is a temperature. Yeah. So it has a temperature meter. So my other multimeter does not actually even have a temperature meter. So this is impressive. So it has a temperature meter. You can probably plug it into, um, not sure which one. I guess you can plug it in either way. No, temperature right here. So the plus here and the minus here, like that. And what well, temperature, probably set the dial to this one because it has a centigrade and Fahrenheit. Okay, so things are should be pretty easy to use since this is a auto ranging uh, multimeter also All right, so it comes with These leads Let's see if they're oh nice. Okay, great uh, Good thought there um, Since Klein makes their tool for electrician They have this extra sleeve um, So that it only expose a little bit of the tip and the tip is pretty sharp uh, so that you can be isolated and you're not gonna accidentally touch everything with your uh, leads and uh, so both plus and minus are protected uh, the cable feels pretty good all the way through and okay so we have a cover look at that it's pretty nice so the tip of it is completely protected with plastic so that you don't accidentally again um, accidentally plug it into or touch something that you didn't mean, mean to and, and cause a spark or something like that. So really good touches from, uh, from Klein there. All right, so I'm going to pause the video, uh, put the battery in.
Okay, so I made a mistake there. The only screw that you need to remove for the battery is only the top one here. Uh, but instead I removed two additional screws on the left and the right, which I didn't need to. Alright, so my bet on that. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, put in the battery. And see how bright, how good this uh, multimeter is. Alright, so I put the batteries in and I uh, just want to mention that uh, the stand is pretty good, easy to use, it snaps back pretty nice. Um, the cable, let's see, the cables are, let me see how good they are at snapping in. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, it doesn't doesn't bother me at all the way it works, and uh, you, can, you can put it this way too, the other way. If that's how you want to store it, you can do that so it doesn't poke out. Um, I guess for me, usually what I would do is that I would probably spin this this way and start <clears throat> wrapping this and uh, until I get to like there and then I'll probably would snap it in or let me see we can have enough leads and then we can snap it in like that so that keeps it pretty compact without needing a case it keeps all the cable in one bundle all right so uh, let's give it a go let's test this out okay so we are off right now and let's uh, let's do a continuity check that should be one of the more common one okay I'm hoping for a backlight Oh, there it is. Nice. Yeah. All right. So I like it. The response is very fast. Let's turn off the light. So you got to hold it. And uh, it has auto ranging. So it has temperature, uh, microamp, milliamp, amp, off, AC volt, hertz, continuity, and diode. Okay, very nice. Um, the display is pretty big. The size is just right for my hand. Um, the grip is good. It, it's it's very nice. I like it. Uh, I think they did a, a great job. I don't think this is waterproof, but I mean the the packaging did not say it's auto, or waterproof. But um, I, I I feel like the the build is good enough. If if you use this in the rain, it, it'll probably be okay uh, as long as you don't submerge in water. But the manufacturer actually does not say that it's waterproof. Um, yeah, so this is it. Just uh, wanted to create this video um, to go through this. If you're thinking about buying this, um, I think uh, this is a really good product. Um, if you like to buy it after watching this video, uh, please use my link in the description. I would appreciate it. Uh, get a little bit of commission. Um, just want to show you how this temperature probe goes in. Let's see. 73 degrees just about right because I usually set my house temperature somewhere around whoa that's not right it just went to like um, 69 70 yeah I was to say um, my house is around 70 degrees 72 um, right now 
So it's about right. All right. Well, um, thank you for watching this video. Like I said, again, if you would like to purchase this, I would appreciate if you use my link in the description or in the first comment. Uh, it just helps my channel uh, so that I can create more videos for you guys. And uh, if you like this content or you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so other uh, people on YouTube can discover it. And um, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you Bye. for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.